வணக்கம் நவ் ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு நேரட் அனதர் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் கேஸ் ஸ்டடி இன் பேங்க் ஃப்ராட் திஸ் வாண்ட் டு சே டு யூ திஸ் இட் த்ரூ திஸ் கேஸ் ஸ்டடி ஐ ஆம் எக்ஸ்பிளைனிங் தி பேசிக் சிஸ்டம் வீக்னஸ் அண்ட் ஈவன் ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஷேர் மை எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் டு யூ so this is uh, this experience i got from a revenue audit previous year some uh, 15 20 years back wherever you are going for audit your fees you know the your fees now the fees is very good at the time they used to give 300 rupees per half year verification for revenue audit including boarding lodging travel so to learn the uh, experience i have gone i have accepted the audit and gone for the audit but for this audit i have been given 2200 rupees fees including boarding lodging traveling and me my fees also suppose if i take uh, two assistants i have to pay only from that uh, money but two hours uh, we went to the audit then in order to gain experience i accepted this audit though the fees is uh, very very less at the time and i went for the audit it's a manual system of accounting this is also possible but i'll tell later how it is possible this is a manual system of accounting wherein yeah, normally now the interest is being charged every month through computers so 30 days once uh, or month end they will put the <coughs> interest in term loan or cc it's a revenue audit but for want of manpower that branch has passed the entry of june so they have calculated up to june they passed the entry on 17th so for other another quarter 16 another quarter 15 so with the 15 days delay they passed the interest entry it is also revenue leakage because 30th day interest had it been passed on that 30th day uh, 30th june then that interest would have earned interest on interest so i have found out this as a leakage and worked out it's a manual system of uh, accounting then the, at that time uh, there is a, a system they have to calculate the interest on the side of the ledger so total outstanding number of days uh, outstanding number of days the funds were utilized then multiply then divided by 365 into interest rate application this is the formula to arrive at the uh, Per, per quarter interest so june quarter so i verified all uh, accounts because there are also supplementary ledger will be there to pass the uh, interest entry i have i have compared uh, supplementary ledger with the account so they have passed the interest entry so when i uh, check like that in that's a over one very big account that is uh, in the interest alone uh, they are charging around 12 lakhs per quarter per lakhs per quarter so they are charging in interest then i have normally if it's a big account what i'll do first when i verify the system i used to take whether all the interest have been passed or not so june interest that's being passed on 17th of july september interest december interest march interest at one particular time and uh, at one in one account see june interest they have passed september interest also they passed when i found when i worked out for december interest there is no entry there was no entry in the ledger then march interest is being passed on the march because uh, the, you have to they have to complete the balance sheet they passed on the march then uh, i have seen the supplementary ledger in the supplementary ledger there is uh, interest calculation is there all the interest calculation is also correct then i asked the manager sir i am not able to the arrival i am not able to find the december interest for this particular account have you posted in any other account have you posted in the current account or something where you have posted that's a question i asked the manager very coolly said okay so almost 1 uh, o'clock uh, we will see after lunch then uh, i work for i worked out something then went for lunch and then came back by 3 o'clock at that time at the day i already informed him sir i have to complete the audit today i'll definitely complete the audit this is the 
deploy i have gone to the manager so around 3 i went to the branch manager sir uh, can you show the evidence where you have uh, passing in then he said sir uh, just uh, i am busy with my work on uh, another one hour i'll be free so i'll we will dis have discussion after 4 uh, then 4:15 i went there then uh, once again i asked the manager sir uh, kindly prove where now i change the voice kindly prove where you are pass the entry then uh, after 2 uh, minutes the manager said sir uh, uh, that client wants to meet you see i asked the manager where is the evidence of passing that entry but uh, that manager said sir that client wants to meet you i said what is the purpose there is no purpose there is no nothing i have to do with the client of that uh, uh, bank if you show me the evidence otherwise you pass the entry because you are doing the revenue leakage no sir the client is very much uh, adamant he wants to see you then only we have to do everything i said no i am not interested to uh, meet any client then i suspect that means uh, he is he wants to tell something else i suspected something so to save me what i did i called the assistant manager and also the sub staff of the institution that branch then i i narrated this to assistant manager he once again verified everything he said sir that this entry is not being passed but in the supplementary ledger the 12 lakhs entry of interest calculation was there but that is not posted in the uh ledger see now it's a computerized environment you can do any uh, thing without command also the interest will run so that is also possible in the computerized environment but nowadays uh, it's being locked because everything is being controlled at the uh, data processing center uh, in few branches they did this manipulation but uh, in computer operation but now it is being overruled so this has happened in manual system then the manager said sir once again he, he told me sir client wants to meet you then i informed this to assistant manager then he once again verified he found that that entry was not passed then that tune uh, he, he also i have informed him so because the since a customer wants to meet me so this information i wanted i have uh, passed on to the uh, branch officials then this uh, assistant manager uh, uh, the, he had openly had discussion with uh, the branch manager and he said sir have you informed this finding to the customer he said yes okay that is a different issue where, where this entry is being posted because at the time of posting the manager was in charge he only posted the entry no no on the request of the customer i omitted to post then uh, this is a clear uh, violation of rule this is nothing but fraud because on the request of the customer he has for, he has not posted 12 lakhs income to the branch so it's a clear fraud then assistant manager he got wild then uh, again uh, why you did this no no uh, he helped me a lot that manager he told the assistant manager that customer he helped me helped the manager a lot then he said okay don't touch anything in the branch here after then what he did what that assistant manager did he has informed the controlling authorities uh, about the narration and uh, after that the controlling authorities told uh, Oh, that assistant manager to take the charge of the branch for the time being. Then he asked uh, the manager not to do anything. He, they have to keep quiet. Then within 15, 20, 15, 15, 20 minutes, other official from other branch they came to this uh, branch. Then uh, he has that officer has also once again verified. He endorsed the work. And what has happened? He has taken everything in writing. and uh, that is including that uh, that uh, that customer wanted to meet me then he has informed to the uh, his uh, controlling authorities this manager was spots suspended then what this assistant manager he did he has passed 12 lakhs income leakage entry in the ledger then 
after some time that customer he came to the branch and they had fight with the manager why you passed the entry then he this officer was visited he has also uh, got the sworn statement from that uh, customer then uh, there was some uh, undercut dealing that took place between the uh, branch head and uh, that customer then that manager now is dismissed from service after some two years of inquiry he was dismissed that is what i heard but my uh, experience in this case is any details you ask the manager or other officer is not giving those details the same may be asked to produce before the end of the audit otherwise that means there will be some problem in, the, in that that this is the experience i got from this uh, uh, audit and another experience where i wherever i go i used to say to the members auditors are not safe inside the branch when they detect the fraud so that is why i narrated this thing to the assistant manager and sub staff so they came to my rescue then don't talk directly to the branch customer this you should bear in mind you should not have any sort of uh, discussion with the branch officials see that the revenue leakage that you have found out is recovered during the course of audit so that is why you have gone even for statutory audit also there is an lfir one column revenue leakage so you have to do oh, the same working so this is the experience which i got from this case so this has happened some 15 i think 15 more than 15 years and uh, that is that too this is in manual system now it is not possible but in order to share my experience i uh, explain i have explained this in this uh, video and be ensure that when you detect the fraud you have to be very very careful if you are alone in the branch then you have to sought the help of the other officers uh before concluding this uh, um presentation i want to say once again remind you if any fraud is undetected during the course of audit then the auditor is personally held responsible for the loss to the bank apart from losing the profit apart from losing the certificate or facing a very insured action so in this case this year if i omitted to uh, see this books this will go to the uh, store no one is ready to uh, do the verification because statutory audit is over inspection audit everything was over so i was the law person to do the revenue audit so be ensure that you are working is correct with this i once again thank you for watching this uh, video presentation on bank fraud case study 3 nandri vanakkam